Hello everyone and welcome to my first look at the Spirit of Steam route by Dovetail Games. Obviously massive thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us early access to show this off. But yes, yeah, Spirit of Steam, I mean it has felt like ages since we first got the announcement. of. I mean it was quite a while back, I think it was February um, 2021 which we sort of first got that article saying Steam coming to Train Sim World 2. And yeah, well, it's here. <laughs> we've we've got it. Uh, so yeah, Spirit of Steam, Liverpool, Lime Street to crew of the 8F and the Jubilee. So we're just going to jump into it. Um, I must admit, I did do the introduction. I was like, because mm, I was thinking, am I going to do the first look on PC or should I do it on PlayStation? And it seemed to run quite well on the PC. So we're going to do it on the PC. So uh, let's see. Uh, explore. So now, uh, well this Liverpool to crew route introduction here we go it's exciting we're going in we're going in but yeah, hopefully audio is all good well hopefully everything's all good obviously as it's a video I don't have you guys assisting me in chat for for these things welcome to Liverpool Lime Street crew here we go this is the big moment look at this welcome to crew and it's Matt in the northwest of England Step back in time and discover Brilliant. the soot and Look sounds at this. of the steam And don't here. worry, it's not Find black and white. <laughs> living locomotives hungry for coal and water. And work hard on uh, I mean, there you go, there, there, is. there it is. Through historic Merseyside and Brilliant. Treasure. Absolutely brilliant. Well, this is crew. Here we go, we've got one coming in. There, uh, proceed to begin. And it's not look left, right, up, there's down. That's gone. Let's fix that while that. we're here. Look at that coming in there. Oh wow! Right. Anyway, let's uh, let's head forward. You got a mix of the blood and custard and maroon as well. Oh, so yeah, this would be blank, but um, I I got it. But look at that! You got the is that the Union? Oh, what is it? sure to refill sand buckets, fill coal sacks. Is that Union of South Africa? That one? Because that's on the fourth rail bridge, isn't it? Oh, hello, hello, hello. Where are we going? We're going. We're going. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, this is crew. Uh, right, uh, where are we going? Sit in first class. Follow the markers Go on to then. Board the train before departure. That's more like it, first class, travelling style. Now you got everyone in there, chilling out. Uh, let's sit in here. Let's go right. I mean, look at the seats though. The seats are. If you've ever been to a. Experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Let's do that. If you've ever been to a Heritage Rail in real life, you'll know how comfy the seats are. Like, you can fall asleep really easy. And in first class, I mean, it's even better as you get the armrest. Here we go. We're leaving. We're leaving crew. We're off. But yeah, this is a big DLC. Um, hopefully, I would have recorded quite a few videos on the PC. Just to sort of get a little bit ahead. Obviously, I usually do do my first look on the console, but I mean, this is just such a big DLC. It's an opportunity not to miss. Um, so, especially as it's quite a tricky one as well. I want to try and you know learn it. So then, when it does publicly come out, I can sort of help you guys out as well. This train is powered by an LMS Jubilee class steam locomotive. These were built Beautiful. between 1934 and 1936, and originally named Red Staniers because of their original crimson livery. But later, wow. the nickname Jubilee. That's in weird in crimson livery. Named Silver Jubilee, in recognition of the Silver Jubilee of King George V. Awesome. Look at During that. your journey as a driver on this route, you'll learn to drive this locomotive as well as the LMS Stanier wow. Class <laughs> F, a freight locomotive. Awesome. There's the AF there, actually. You'll learn to haul a variety of different freight between the bustling yards and perform both express and local stopping passenger services. That is great, and it? it is great. Learn all there is to know about operating these iconic locomotives. Wow. In I mean, was king. <laughs> it is. Um, Welcome great. to Train Sim World Spirit of Steam. They're to, to crew. crew. There we go. Oh wow. Well, I mean, that's just the intro, and that's like. Wow. Um, well, let's uh, let's go back to the menu, and I'll show you what you actually get with the route, <clears throat> and then we'll go on to we'll do the jubilee introduction. I think so that's probably the main thing people are going to be going in. So uh, obviously you've got five tutorials. You've got the 
introduction you've got the 8f intro semaphore signaling introduction which fortunately i already know so i'm going to skip that one uh, you've got the refueling introduction which will be quite handy and also the um stania jubilee class 6p introduction as well so we'll probably end up doing that one um in today's first look um scenario six scenarios bovine blockage the tables have turned really reliable rescue time for scouts worst winter of all and moving around the mersey uh, and then you've got 135 services which yeah, it's a steam route obviously they have left gaps in the timetable as well uh, 99 uh, and they got 36 on this one here look at that brilliant so from yeah midnight to 2220 and then and then my stan stania that's yeah midnight through to six o'clock in the evening so plenty to get up um get on with so yeah uh, let's load into the jubilee tutorial and then well let's give it a go right here we are the Jub this is where we drive the train i mean Welcome it's gonna to be Allison. good in this introduction we'll be learning how to drive Cut the LMS jubilee class steam locomotive brilliant PR green livery. oh it's uh there we go yeah. This class of local Sometimes it freezes on the tutorial, it's weird. And nicknamed That's Jubilee not any route. After one of its class was named Silver Jubilee. Cool. To get started, climb onto the footplate. Right, onto the foot. I mean, yeah, look at this. Look at that. It's, it's great. Looks like we've got the clear already. Let's get in. Right, here we go. We're going onto the footplate. There you go, we're up. We're, we're on. We are. Position. Steam train. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. Uh, yeah. Wow. In this lesson, we will be performing. Yeah, well, as well. There you go. Um, open the doors. So that's why and you on the on the PC. It's doing things. Oh, it, it's letting off stuff. <laughs> that's what we want to hear. Brilliant. So yeah, hopefully audio is all good. I'm just going to turn that down myself. That is a little bit loud, but hopefully you can hear me all good. Um, yeah, I've played quite a lot of Steam on Train Simulator, but it's quite a bit different on here. You've got a lot more to sort of to do. Quite a lot of doors. There you go. We're now ready to depart for West Allerton. Have a train. The reverser determines the direction of travel and also how okay. much power to apply. So, yeah, so when you start, you put it into 75%. To the power to get the train so let's do that. Speed, you'll need to move it towards the center. There Slowly you go. Open the regulator to apply power. Okay, Remember, so I think power delivery is delayed in steam locomotive. Yeah, so obviously you've got to wait for the steam to get through and then move all the things. So it will take, you know, a little bit. This locomotive has two types of brakes. Steam, steam and vacuum. And vacuum. Steam brakes will apply on just the locomotive. Vacuum brakes will apply on Here the rest of the train, so long as it is equipped with vacuum brakes. Brilliant. Okay, so start releasing that. There we go. And you can actually do them at the same time, I think. So you can put this lock on. Set the. No, I didn't see that. What, what, what did Matt say? I want to see what Matt said because obviously this the steam. I want to know. Um, to create a vacuum, we use so to sort of create the brakes. Then sort of create the brake pressure. Set that to fully open. So then to I suppose let air in. And set that to close. Okay, so that's just made the vacuum. So I suppose that's made sort of the brakes for the when we come to a stop. Okay, set the to that to 40 and reach 20 miles an hour. Look at that, look at it. Wow. That is magnificent. <laughs> starting to pick up speed. Move the reverser towards the Yeah, so we start bringing that down now. Reduces the amount of steam let into the cylinder, but say that's about 65. So you sort of slowly bring that down um, as you gain speed. Oh, 
not too far to West Allerton. We've got another train there. What's that? That's a Jubilee, I think, coming along. Oh, well, this is going to be fun trying to stop at West Allerton. Yeah, vacuum brakes are they're, they're, not, they're not they're not great, so be careful. We're approaching the next station. Let's prepare the train to slow down. Yeah, yeah, brakes. Use the combination <laughs> brake to apply both types of brakes simultaneously. So I think that's if you put the that on. Oh no, not like that. There you go, combination brake. Gonna put that back to 75, so we're getting a lower speed. Someone said to me, think of the reverse as like a gear, so the higher speed you are, or oh, no, the lower the the higher the percentage, uh, the lower the gear, and then the lower the percentage, the higher the gear. So you can see we're getting speed because I put it back to 75. Where's the farm? Where's the farming? I just keep opening, but there's no farming. Was it the tutorials? It might not. It might not be there. Wow. Look at that. What's everyone going to be doing though? Local services or stopping services? Or I mean, it's got to be express services, hasn't it? What a beautiful train. I mean, it just it feels so weird driving steam and train. I've been playing train some mod for near enough four years now. It's just, it's weird to have steam, but then it's just, it's a warm buzz, it's, it's, it's a nice feeling. We have steam on TSW, <laughs> it's great. It's, yeah, uh, wow. <clears throat> it is, yeah, it's, it is amazing. Oh god, we aren't nice, bit of wheel slip. And we're here. There we go, we made it to West Allerton. Unlock the doors. Short platform as well, I think, there. Yeah. Well, I suppose unless you put the locomotive in front of the platform, then the, all the coaches would then get on. So yeah, this is the route map for any route mappers. So you've got Edge Hill up here, you've got Liverpool Lime Street here, uh, you've got Runcorn, I think Runcorn is this one here, uh, and then over here you've then got, all the way down here you've got Crew. So you've actually got the West Coast Main Line in the game, this is the West Coast Main Line all the way up here. So yeah, technically the West Coast Main Line is now in the game. Lock the doors. We can now continue the journey to Mossley Hill. The brakes off. To create a vacuum for the vacuum brakes, we use the ejectors. So we've got to sort of make the, you know, fill up the brake cylinder, I think. Or sort of get the brakes ready for the next part of the journey. Do we need to change that? Uh, open the regulators to get moving. Oh yeah, you got to wait. You've got to wait on a steam train. Let's put that to. You've got to be careful. Well, I don't feel like I should be doing that. I still haven't really figured out what they are yet. But it hasn't told me to do anything, so we're all good. We are going uphill as well, so you've got to be quite gentle on a steam train. A steam trains are more prone to wheel slip. Uh, I mean, I mean, just look at the amount of wheels on them, and how, yeah, they just they will very easily get wheel slip. So be gentle with them. Obviously, try not to be late though. <laughs> yeah, this is the Jubilee. I mean, look at that. It's just, it's, it's just a great feeling to have steam in Train Sim World. 
I remember also this is a pre-release version, so if you see any issues, it's pre-release. Don't put in the comments, that's wrong, that's wrong, it's pre-release. Gonna bring that down a little bit. Look at the steam there coming over the top. Beautiful. I see the brakes aren't great either, so I'm not going to come in at about. I'm going to put that back to 75 since it's ready, just in case we need to get a bit of boost as we come into Mosley Hill. It seems to be alright on the brakes at the moment. Let's release them. Yeah, look at that. And actually, it's running really nicely as well. I was sort of like, yeah, 30. I mean, I've got locked to 30 FPS, uh, and it is running really nice. Well, I suppose it's a fairly quiet route, but yeah, the steam. I mean, it's no, it's no, it's kind of. I think maybe I've got it locked to 40, but it's running really, really well. So you can tell it's been optimized really, really nicely on here. And yeah, I will get rid of the uh, the blocks once we uh, get out on the route and do a little bit more. Oh, let's get a little bit of... Uh, just a little bit. Just a little tiny bit of power. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of power. Get them on. There you go. I'm guessing that's probably the tutorial done. Open the doors. Brilliant. And now we have a yeah, look at that. So what have we got? We've got South Australia. I like it. <clears throat> yeah, we've got South Australia on uh, on this one. They've all got different um, uh, names to them, I believe. What are they? I know uh, one set of names are... Of course, this is the 1950s, so, uh, well, I mean, these were made in the 1930s. So, the place, they're named after places of the British Empire, uh, and, oh, I can't remember the other one. can't remember the other one. There's, like, Thunder and stuff like now that. Close the doors and prepare to depart for Edge Hill. Oh, we're departing for Edge Hill. Okay. Let's get the brakes off. Our water level's going down quite a bit. Uh, oh yeah, we've got to wait, as you can see. Right, actually, hang on. Open that out, which allows more bits to go in much quicker. There you go. So we do that. I don't know, is that, what's the small ejector? I'm guessing that's... Oh, we're actually already moving. Let's go. Is it, what are the cylinder? Uh, these things down here, then. When should I be using them? You've got the damper there as well. Now, I believe the damper that allows a little bit of air into the fire um, to obviously, you know, make it more flamey, which means more steam. Yeah, should I be doing something like that? What does that actually do? Yeah, I'm still not too sure what they do. Although we're moving, so that's all good. Oh, it's, it's great, isn't it? So what can you use then? Gauge glass isolating stuff. Uh, was that a lock there for the regulator? I saw like another lock there somewhere. Oh, no, there's the regulator. Uh, yeah, you got that again. Got the brake there. Let's whack that up. Sander. Hey, you've got the blower there, I think, as well. And also the firebox there as well, which looks really cool. Oh. Let's open that up. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. So, yeah, as you get a higher speed, uh, bring back the, uh, the reverser. A fairly steep ground, it's a 1 in 113 up here. We're making it though. 
the 1.7 miles to Edge Hill. Yeah, there's a bit of a grade going up here. Hence though, we're not going up as quick. But yeah, look at, I mean, that is just stunning. There's another train there. Oh, we've got a double yellow as well. So you get a mix of colour on here as well as um, semaphore. So you get the best of both. That'd be quite nice to get a screenshot. No, not that. That. Yes, there we go. Not that. I'm so used to playing on the console. Continue on. Raid's starting to flatten out a little bit, so we're getting a slightly more speed on us. I don't really want to be getting a spad on the tutorial. That's not that's not in the plans. <laughs> there we go. Blimmin' beautiful. Um, I mean, yeah, FPS is really nice. green there, got one mile to Edge Hill. I'll pop that up a little bit. We're still gaining speed, so that's good. As long as you're gaining speed, that's all good. We've got greens through there on the signal. That's 40 anyway, so let's get that down. Hang on, 20? It said about 40, didn't it? That's a bit cheeky. And we've got a warning on the signal as well there. Yeah, see, that's that's the main signal, that's the distance signal. The distance signal was telling me that, you know, coming up we got a red, so uh, we probably should start bringing that down. I guess that's probably why they have the semaphore signal beforehand, to get you uh, used to the signals. build that up again. It probably is just because we're coming up to Edge Hill. Well, I'm still being careful. No, we're all good, we're all good. Well, I think we'll come to a stop anyway. That's all good, that's all good. It's slightly hard to see those signals, I mean, they sort of like come up just round there. Let's do that. Yeah, the brakes are, are decent, so... Oh, whoa, hello, not that. There you go. Yeah, we know the brakes are decent. So we've got a warning on that one. Obviously, as you learn the route, you'll sort of learn these signals and the places of them. And obviously, as I haven't played this before, I didn't know that signal was sort of poked around there. So it was uh, slightly harder to see. What oh, a beautiful sounding steamer, though. Open it up a little. So I think after this we might as well do the AF tutorial uh, and then we've driven both trains giving you guys a look at the tutorial for each one. Uh, so I think yeah, that would sort of be a good job after that, yeah, get the tutorials done. Um, I don't know after that. But, I mean it's quite nice because the tutorials are almost like a service. You know, that hasn't been like, right, go there, stop, done. It's Yeah, it has almost felt like a a service, so it's been quite nice. Oh, well, we have got 20, that's a bit naughty. It's so good. I'll put Bob you around these ones. Yeah, massive thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us a key to show this off early. I mean, <laughs> it's great.
So I wonder, are we going to Lime Street then? Yeah, we are. We're going. We're going into Lime Street. Let's try not to overshoot. That should actually bring us to a fairly nice stop. A really nice tutorial, though, the way it sort of takes you on, well, it sort of guides you on a service, doesn't it? It's pretty ideal. Here you go, this is Edgehill. Doors. Good work. Brand oh, are we not going to... Operating this train. Oh, maybe we're not going to... It said we were going to Lime Street on the... On the, um, thingy there. Um, well... What we'll do then, we'll do the Stania Class 8F introduction. Let's go into that and let's give that a go. Let's go. That did say on the thing, it did say we were going to Lime Street, so I don't know. But we're going anyway and we'll have a look at the 8F. So this should be some sort of little freight service. But quite nice, I like this tutorial. I like the last tutorial as it did sort of feel like a service, but a tutorial at the same time. Welcome to Runcorn Station. Well, there In this it is. training module, oh. we'll be learning how to drive an LMS Stania Class 8F steam locomotive in VR Black. Why is it always so like, weird and laggy, the um, training? I don't know why it is, it's just always... <gasps> Whoa. Look at that. There it is, there's the Runcorn Bridge. And you've got the this bridge here, like the pulley bridgey thing, uh, which I think now is... Uh, you can see the modern bridge actually being built, but we'll get over there probably in a second. It's just... It's just beautiful. I mean, it's well. I don't know. It's it's yeah. It's wow. Well, <laughs> I don't know, but it's uh, it's something. It's something. There's the AF there. Right. Let's let's head up uh, on to, onto the footbridge. I mean, it. I don't know. It just it's. I'm, I'm pretty speechless, really. Um. It's, it's great. Stand on the platform and wait for your train to arrive. Oh, that's the AF. Have you got people um, in period clothing as well? So, you know, hats and stuff and long coats. And looks like tons of farm in here as well. <laughs> You'll be taking over a freight service down to wow, the look at that. This class of locomotive was built between 1935 and 1946. I love this logo as well. It was a freight version of the highly successful Black 5 locomotive. Let's get in. Let's do it. Climb up onto the footplate to begin. Let's close that. Sit in the driver's seat. Let's prepare the locomotive for departure. Okay, so close the, the same. The determines the direction of travel and also how much power to apply. 75%. This locomotive has two types of brakes, steam and vacuum. Okay, so the same as the Jubilee then. Steam brakes will apply on just the locomotive. Oh, hello. Vacuum brakes will apply on the rest of the train, so long as it oh. is equipped with vacuum brakes. Use oh. the combination oh. brakes to apply both types of brakes simultaneously. Okay. Vacuum uh. brakes are released when there is a vacuum in the system. To apply braking brakes, to create a vacuum for the vacuum brake, yeah, so you sort of need to the small make be the brakes. Open when the train is running. The large ejector can be used to more quickly increase the vacuum after coupling or heavy braking. Okay, so small ejector when driving just should open be set to... Open the cylinder to... box to remove any water from cylinders after it has been left standing. Water in the cylinders can damage the locomotive because it doesn't compress like Oh, steam. hello, whoa, we don't want to be going. Uh, maybe we do want to be going. The regulator acts like the throttle for the steam locomotive. It controls how much steam is delivered. Okay, we are moving, so... <laughs> open the regulator to apply power. Remember that power delivery is delayed in the steam locomotive. Okay, so... Applying too much power too early can cause wheel slip. We don't want slip. So yeah, so... Cylinder cocks remove unnecessary drainage water, I want to say that. Uh, so, I mean, that hence the name, but, you know. Um, yeah, they remove unnecessary water, I guess, so 
I suppose it's yeah, it's done now. We've got rid of the water. Now we're moving. We can open the regulator some more. We're starting to pick up some Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. The hang of it. This reduces the amount of steam that goes into the cylinder, but say it. There we go. Yeah, so the cylinder cocks remove unnecessary drainage water. Uh, so I suppose you probably want to do that every now and again, just to get rid of the drainage water. The ejector creates the vacuum. The small ejector should always be set to uh, f fully open when moving. Okay, yeah, I think we're, we're getting there, we're getting the hang of it. Uh, and then you've got the brakes there, which are the brakes. Going over the Runcorn Bridge. Wow. Wow. This words cannot describe how happy it is. How happy, uh, there's the um, the new bridge. How happy I'm to see this. I mean, it is just stunning. There goes another eight F. All the wagons on the back there. I think there's even someone in the um, brake van as well. This is pretty steep down here though, isn't it? So we're going all the way back down now. Well, let's um, coast that. Wow, look at that. One thing we haven't done actually is a flyby shot. How could we not do a flyby shot? Not nice. Right, guys. We're approaching the next stop. Let's prepare the train to stop. It's really going for it. Uh, use the. Bring the train to stop. Oh, yeah, it's quite downhill as well, so um, we'll be all right. We should be all right. Okay, so we're going to the next stop. Bring it to a stop. Hopefully, at the moment, that's not great. No, I think we'll be alright. Still a little bit of a but you've also got to remember some of these don't have brakes on them. Some of these wagons don't have brakes. It sounds weird, doesn't it? They, they don't have brakes, but some of them don't. So sometimes you'll have pretty much half the train with brakes and the other half just doesn't have brakes. I'll set that back to about 75. Uh, yeah, we're going to be stopping. Let's up, we got the clear. So yeah, main signal is the red one, distance signal is the yellow one. At the moment they're both green, so they're both happy. So you can get this open as well. So when it's raining you might want to get that open if you can't see out of the uh, thingy. Releases the brakes nice and quickly. And this is Ditton Junction. Does look very, very good though. And yeah, very well. I mean, we're running 30 odd FPS, and this is a steam train. So you'd think, oh wow, it's probably going to lag quite a bit. Really, really well optimised. Especially for my PC, which looks good as well. What else is that up there? It's like a fart. Oh, it's probably a chimney which hasn't loaded in. Here we are. Great work. Oh. Let's see how you did. That was alright. So, like being more basic, but they tell us what's going on. Not bad, not bad at all. Hello, everyone. You join us at the mighty Liverpool Lime Street Station. Uh, I thought we'd, I thought it'd be sort of a good place to end up. Uh, so we're watching this train going out, which should hopefully be leaving in about a minute's time. Uh, if that happens, we'll wait and see. Or is there more? I okay, no, this is the end of the station. But yeah, this is Liverpool Lime Street, so you've got the cutting going all the way out through tons of tunnels. It's 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 cool. I must say, it's quite cool. Um, oh, this station looks so different, though. See, I played this. Um, I played this on train simulator. Well. Uh, Liverpool to Manchester. It's so different on here. It's like it feels like a whole different station. So much more going on. I suppose my bit got 
cut a little bit. But yeah, this is uh, Lime Street Station. So this train should be leaving in about a minute's time. You know what? I shall see you all when it does actually begin to leave. And here we go. It should be just about to leave. Oh, here we go. It's off. Here we go. I don't know why it's got the tail lamp on. Unless maybe that is the passenger code. Maybe. I'm not too sure. But yeah. Off it goes. So that. Uh, so it's slowly making its way out. I don't know why it's not going chugga chugga, but this is pre-release, so that, that could be an issue, maybe. But yeah, we're watching it leave Lime Street Station, which does look very, very cool. Hello, just in your jumper and trousers. Off it goes, there we go. Out of, uh, out of Lime Street. But yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed that first look at the Spirit of... You know what, hold on. Let's go and muck around with the train down here. See what we can get up to with it. In fact, let's see if we can get it moving. You know, without the tutorial, let's just see if we can get this thing moving. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, and you actually can... Yeah, you see that you got like the um, that little thing shut. See that? Oh, where's it gone? Where was it? I just saw it show up. There's like a uh, head code codes which you can do which like all mean different things which you can find obviously things to say what they mean but yeah let's quickly hop into here I don't know why that wasn't on let's quickly go back and we'll probably see it yeah see that it says lamp white head code C you know what not let's get into here quick let's just see if we can get this thing going without any assistance this would have been on been in on the previous service uh, yeah I'm not actually going to do that but uh, although it's only, it's, it's not too long, it's only 10 minutes or so. Eh. Oh, let's get that on. Now, let's just see if we, oh, we could do it. No, let's do it. Let's do it. So someone that would have mentioned, can you uh, run tender first? Well, that's what we're going to do. Look at that, that's pretty cool. But yeah, let's see if we can get this thing set up and get it going. So I shall see you all when we're ready to go. Right, so slightly closer to departure time. Now let's get the train, well let's try and get the train set up. So we'll put that to 75. There you go. Uh, I think we'll keep that as open. We want to get rid of the you know water and all. Uh, what else do we need to do? I think everything should be fairly automatic, I think. So we should be okay. That's set to fully open when in normal service. Let's do that. Actually, I think they're already... Actually, no, if we do... We are on a bit of a grade. So we have got to be careful. Yeah, that's all good. That's that's done that. So that's all good. Do that. So we've still got it on a little bit, so there's not too much point of doing it. Got about 20 seconds, and then we shall be off. I've just done a random tell, um, well, random headlight code. So, yeah, I don't know <laughs> what they are. But yeah, it looks like that's all automatic. So that should do do that by itself, which is good. Exhaust injector trim valve. That's a little. There you go. There's our there's our farming. So I think we are all good to go. So, oh, there you go. He's, he's doing. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Brilliant. Um, let's get that off. That's that off, which probably means we're going to start rolling back in a second. Let's quickly get off the objective marker, uh, which is that one and that one. So you can see you've got the steam firing mode there. Um, which obviously you can turn to manual if you wanted to, um, but it's probably more realistic to have it as um, automatic, as you would have a farm in, you, in real life. Right, that's on 75. The brakes are slowly coming off. Um, that looks all good to me, so... Yeah, that's already where it needs to be. So I think it's we're time to go. There you go. We have movement. We have movement. Look at that. It's, it's, it's brilliant. It is really, really good. 
Back we go. Am I forgetting something? I can still hear the. I think we're all done. There's the cab lot. That was again looks really really cool. You can even open up the cold door if you want. Right, we don't really need that on now. Let's close that. That's all sort of drainage what I guess should be gone now. So yeah, we're running tender first. I know quite a few people were asking if you can, and that's what we're doing. So in this we in this little first look we've done a little bit of everything, haven't we? We've done so we've done the tutorials, which have, we've driven the AF and the Jubilee. And now we're running tender first. Back we go. Thanks mate, thanks for doing that. Have you got everything else on? Do you do the other things? I don't know if you do the other things. So you can mess around with them stuff there. If you want. In fact, we probably should get that on. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit dark in it. Oh, you can hear it going. So it'd be fairly, I suppose you'd have to... Well, lean your head out the window to sort of see. There you go. Bit of a gradient coming out of uh, Lime Street. You can see it's a 1 in 93. Well, that's where we are running light loco. It's not hard. Yeah, the um, the part track of Lime Street's lovely. I mean, look at this as we uh, make our way out. Look at that though. It's just. It's, it's weird to be driving steam with TSW at the same time. It's just. It's amazing. I can't really see the signals on that, so are there, are there any signals? There's <laughs> like no signals for ages. Okay, we're all good. Cheers, farmer, you do all the work. I'll sit back and just chill out as we uh, make our way up. 30 miles an hour. There you go, let's do that. So the only thing I'm sort of a bit unsure of now is the dampers. Um, I think, yeah, ejector I've got in the bag, smaller ejector, you will set it to fully open when operational. And everything else I think fairly good, so yeah, it's really just the dampers really. Which I think the dampers blow air into the uh, fire chamber, which then obviously makes the fire go and then it heats up more and then more steam. So I guess you'd probably use that when the boiler pressure's getting fairly low, you might put the damper on. That's a pretty wild guess. Single yellow there. Okay, so we've got to be careful. It might be an objective based one. So once we get to edge hill we'll then clear. We'll be slightly more vigilant. So we might have to come to a stop. Wait for like a passenger service, there's actually something in there at the moment, so might have to wait for that to go out. Yeah, that's sort of the uh, the part throughout of Lime Street, which you can see is just great. I mean, it's similar to say uh, coming out of Gravesend on South Eastern High Speed, but just on a bigger scale. It is stunning. But yeah, this route is set in 1958. And uh, we'll be coming out. Oh, we got a red light there. And uh, we'll be coming out. Actually, that's probably going to clear now, isn't it? As soon as we've done that. No, maybe not. No, it hasn't cleared yet. Oh, there's a dust well. There's another train coming along. Unless one of these is going to change, which is we are going into the yard, aren't we? So I think it's probably that train. That's what we're waiting for. So I want to let all the drainage stuff out. Out you go. Just as we're sitting here, let all the yeah other water come out. I'm just going to request to pass it just in case. Yeah, so it's, it's this train here. There you go. We got the clear now. So that one, see, it's sort of a tree of signals here. Um, now I would imagine. These, these ones here, 
are for this line here and then these two here are for us so obviously you, you'll learn the route as you go along in fact I think those three might just be for that side yes yeah, so I think that's just that, that's that's all on there but you'll learn the route as you go along the signals and what ones do which and what ones are supposed to be where you'll learn that right let's get going again look at that off we go there goes the semaphore and the semaphores actually work correctly on this route as on northern trans pennine um, the distant ones just don't really work as they should as as well so we're all good on here let's get that off now let's quite cool that uh, we shall close that well, there's the um, brake uh, brake van there which you can put the furnace on in there but we are going a little bit over that's all good no harm in that and that's a shunt uh, semaphore I think We've got like a whole handbook of just semaphores and signals, so should be okay. Oh, look at the great gun up here. Oh, wow. Uh, also, yeah, I can see the green coming up there. Let's go and quickly check if we've got anything to change. I think we're, yeah, I think it's all good. Oh, not that. Yeah, so we've got the green there, so that's all, that's all good. So this one's a layered one, so that one means I think we're going to the right, that one there means we're going in the middle, if that one was green, it means we're going to the left, or vice versa. Yeah, there you go, so that one's a layered one. We should get that on the shunt signals as well. Nice little look at Edge Hill though, isn't it? From up, from up here. That's a little semaphore, so that means we're going to be coming off to the left. So we're going to be coming down here, I think. Which we should really get the brakes on, as we are going a little bit over. But I mean, I'm admiring the steam I mean, look at it. You've got the other steamers in there as well. Let them all free. Let them all out. <laughs> so yeah, we're coming into here. Brakes aren't actually too bad. I mean, we are light though, so they're not. They're going to be all right, aren't they? <laughs> this is Rathbourne Road Two. Back we go. Yeah, massive thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us early access to show this. I mean, it's just it's been sensational. Uh, it, it's been great. Let's set that to forward. I guess I'm probably going into the uh, thing, aren't we? Uh, let's do that as well. Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Set that one. Wait, we're going there? This is a weird one. Uh, okay, so we're going there. Change that. So we're going to there. The hint to there, then to there, okay. We can do that. Uh, brakes are off. Let's go. Gives us a nice look at the depot as well. Then in the next video, we'll actually do a full mainline run, so keep an eye out for that. Really, really nice. So, look at that. It's, it's great. Oh, not that. We've got to stop just in here, I think. So, if we come to a stop at this set of points, then we've got to go back. So let's put that to 
Let's do that all the way back now. And do that. Change the points to go to there. That's all good. That's all good. That's not good. Uh, that should be all good. Right, back we go. Oh, not that. Oh, that's wheel slip. That, actually, no. Oh, let me show the wheel slip. There you go. There's the wheel slip. So that's not what you want. No, you don't want that. Wheel slip's bad. Don't do it. <laughs> right, then back we go. Tucking it away into the depot to conclude the end of our first look. But hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Um, obviously, I wasn't really planning to do it on the PC. I was going to wait until it came onto the PlayStation 5. But it's ran really nicely. So, um, yeah. That's why we're doing it. And then the next one, we shall do a mainline run. So this has given us a nice sort of brief insight into both locos, just in one. Uh, but yeah, in the next one we'll do a full thing to, yeah. So yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed it. Perfect, and then change that to there. Yeah, we should then be all good to go in. Let all the drainage out. That off. And then we should then be able to go forward. And we've got Novia, Nova Scotia. That is... Canada. Well, in fact, it actually used to be its own country before, and then it then became a province of um, Canada. Here we are. I think hopefully this is the right one. One, two, three. Should be. Hopefully. Some AFs in there as well. Let's not crash into the uh, buffer now. That also would be good. There you go. There we go. Well, that does conclude our first look. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store. If you do want to help support the channel, see massive thanks to Dovetail Games for allowing us to show this off early. Apart from that, thanks for coming in. Have a lovely rest of your day, and I hope we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.